guys welcome to another video so I am sitting in my driveway we are getting ready to head out car is all packed up we are headed to Alabama this weekend and it's me and Maverick so something a little different uh, Maverick and I are headed to a NASA trial in Alabama so we've got about a four hour drive ahead of us so I'll touch base a little bit more on what it is that we're doing this weekend, probably when we get there. I just want to get on the road and make sure we get there with uh, some daylight left, considering daylight savings time is just making it dark at what feels like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and get going on this drive, and I will touch in with you later. You might be able to hear him breathing in the background. Uh, we just had a little pit stop at a Love's and this one had a little dog potty park area. It was pretty small, but big enough to play a little bit of fetch in. So we took advantage of that and got some energy out. And we've got about, I think a little over an hour left in the drive to the hotel. So we are gonna do that and then probably more fetch tonight just to try to get as much energy out as possible so that he will sleep. So this is exactly why I picked <laughs> this hotel and I do this when I stay in hotels is I go on Google Maps and I pull a map of the like area and then I do satellite um, so you can actually like see you're not looking at just terrain you're actually looking at like the satellite image of the area and you can see what kind of grassy areas are around so that you can pick a hotel that has a good place to potty and for a dog like Maverick a good place to do this because <laughs> this boy is gonna need to get his energies out and this is beautiful. This is even better than I imagined. It's cut short. There's not trash. I'm not worried about glass. So yeah, very pleased. And would recommend that if you have a dog that needs to burn energy, that you take that tact when booking hotels. So we are all set up in the room after some fetch before I checked in, which you saw. So he is just resting, catching his breath. I have got a sheet on the bed because while Red Roof Inn is extremely, extremely dog friendly, I just like to be respectful. They have white comforters and he's got grubby little paws and he sheds. So I just like to be nice and put a sheet on the bed. But here is our room. Love that there's no carpet on the floors. And we have a full-size apartment fridge. Microwave, obviously, but the fridge is the fridge is pretty great. And then I brought his bed in case he wants it, but I have a feeling he will be with me on the bed all night. <laughs> So I realized last night I did not explain what it is that we're really doing this weekend, aside from that it's a NASA trial. <laughs> so Maverick is currently entered in Shed Dog Level 1 with NASDA, which is pretty much what it sounds like. He has to find an antler shed, um, like in a certain sized area in a certain amount of time. And I have him entered in three trials today and three trials tomorrow, so six in total. And then the trial's not full, so they're doing day of entries. I think I might enter him in urban locating level one, which is a pretty small area. And they have to find rats in this little like cage box thingamajig. Now, he, I wouldn't consider him like super ratty, but he does have his instinct in barn hunt. And... 
in a small area, I think he might like be interested in their odor and find them. So I'm debating on entering him this morning for maybe just two of the three trials today to see how he does. And then if he does well, then enter him tomorrow. If he doesn't, then just don't enter him tomorrow. Um, we have been training shed dog, so that was really like our goal for being here this weekend was to do shed dog. But we drove all this way and the trial is not full. So I might as well take the opportunity to try maybe something else new. Um, trailing and locating is similar to urban locating, except for it's, uh, it's like, um, in a field or, you know, wood, whatever, wooded environment versus more of an urban environment. And the dogs start on, like the start area is a scent pad that kind of like tapers down to where the rat is. So they can like follow the odor trail, you know, to the rat versus just like searching the whole area until they end up in the scent cone. But I don't know if he would be too distracted in that one. We'll see. Day of trial entries are a little bit more expensive, so I'm not going to go too crazy. But yeah, we are a little early. Um, I misjudged it, which shouldn't be surprising considering I've never done a NASA trial before and I have trial anxiety. So my anxiety was like, get there early so you can sign up and get a lay of the land and figure out what's going on. And so I realized that check-in started at 8 not handler briefing at eight. So we're here a little early. Let's see how that fares for Maverick. We got little goodie bags for pre-entry, which had raffle tickets in it for some different raffle baskets. So that's super fun. And then I did end up signing him up for all three trials of urban locating today. Probably not a good idea because I misunderstood and I could have just entered him in the first one and then if he did well, I could have run all three and then come back and paid because they're super chill. Um, but instead I paid for all three. So let's just hope he does well. But if not, it was a learning experience. Getting trial, or day one, trial one, two, and three updates from the bed because I'm tired. But I think the last thing I said to you guys was that I had entered urban locating in the morning, day of. And then later in the afternoon, I added trailing and locating. So we did shed dog, urban locating, and trailing and locating today. So I will start with shed dog because that was the first thing we did this morning. He had three runs and he got one cue out of those three. I was a little bit surprised because on the second two, he literally ran right over the shed and showed absolutely no change in behavior. Um, I think he was just really overstimulated. It was the first runs of the day, and then we had a little bit of a wait, like outside of the car, kind of in line, so to speak. And I think he just got himself all riled up and all worked up and so that is something that I corrected for the later runs that we did as I waited to get him out of the car at the last minute and I think we actually ran last in all of those and it actually it worked really well for us but one cue in shed dog and he got third place I think in his one that he queued in but for only three weeks of training and you know kind of last minute entering this trial I am happy with one cue We've got three more tomorrow. And I did GoPro film those runs. I am just gonna include the one that he found it. Um, I just don't feel the need to include the two that he didn't. It would just make this video really long. <laughs> so I'm gonna include that now. Okay. Ready? Find the shed. Come on. Good, find the shed. <laughs> Maverick, come on, Maverick. <laughs> Maverick.
Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy, Maverick. Good boy. I'm sorry, what? The GoPro on. It is, yeah. You should watch back that video. Totally take the ship. I did. <laughs> I didn't even feel oh, it. No, That's how much I was no freaking idea. out because I was like so it's nervous. Hysterical. I didn't even feel it. <laughs> no, you guys did awesome. I was like, she has no idea. <laughs> That would be funny to look back. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't feel it. I up, we have Urban Locating. So the reason that I picked Urban Locating is because it's a really small search area. So I figured if he was going to figure a new game out, kind of just during a trial, Urban Locating might be the best one for him to do that, just because the search area was super small. I was expecting absolutely nothing from those runs because Aside from when he got his instinct in Barn Hunt, he has literally not like seen or smelled a rat since then. <laughs> so, you know, he didn't have any clue what I was asking him to look for, you know, when we entered the search area. But he blew me away and he actually got two of his three runs. He peed in the second one, which I was concerned about. So with Urban, depending on the trial location, they may be inside like a shed or a room. I've seen some videos of them like in a sunroom or in a shed, but depending on the location, they might not be. So these were outside on grass and gravel and then just amongst different things like a camper, a tractor and a truck and like a gardening area. So they were more urban than they were like completely rural. And he peed in the second one. So he obviously didn't cue in that run when they pee, it's an NQ. But I think he would have gotten it because he was like on his way to the place that it was. But honestly, two out of three, I'm super happy with. He showed, like he hit odor on the rats and he was like, oh, what is that? And then he was very interested in the box that the rats are in. So I was pretty surprised by that. He's just hasn't, you know, exhibited a ton of excitement for rodents thus far in his life. So. That caused me to enter trailing and locating. And of course, classic, I had the GoPro on my body and I didn't start the GoPro for his urban locating runs, which he had good runs. So I was pretty sad <laughs> that I didn't start the GoPro. Um, and then the GoPro died before the trailing and locating even though I was turning it off, like I wasn't keeping it on all day. So I don't know, I gotta figure out, I'm sorry guys, I'm just not good at GoProing. I'm going to charge it tonight and I'm gonna try to be better about getting all of his runs tomorrow and not, I guess, starting it too early. But if I don't start it too early, I forget to turn it on. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, but these trial nerves, you know, they just take over my brain, similar to Maverick, and we just lose our heads. But last one would be trailing and locating, which I don't believe I explained because I wasn't entering it initially. Maybe I did explain it. It's outside. Um, they're allowed to potty, which is a big one for Maverick. And the start area is scented with odor or with water that's been soaked in like rat pee and poop and litter and all that stuff so it's like scented water and they do a scent pad at the start line and then the judge like trails it through the search area it is not a straight line it's kind of like everywhere but to the box that the rats are in so like i said he did well in urban so i figured hey let's try trailing and locating also blew me away. He got two of the three of his runs, which is super cool. Um, the first one he was on, the very first run, he was definitely on the scent. Like he hit the scent pad and then he was on the trail and then he would kind of lose it and he was just a little scatterbrained, a little young dog everywhere. Um, but on, uh, we showed him like the rat uh, box on that first one. And the next two, he was like, I know what I'm looking for. And so he did pretty good. Um, he got third in both of his trailing and locating runs. So that's pretty cool. Um, they don't necessarily do like placements. I don't think, I don't know. I'm really new to NASDAQ guys, so I'm trying to figure it out. They didn't do like placement ribbons or anything like that. 
Um, and I don't believe that placements get you anything additional. Like, I don't think there's any additional points for placements. Um, there are additional points for things like high in trial and best of breed. Um, our new friend that we were in, we knew on Instagram before this trial um, was at this trial too, so it was super cool to meet her in person. But she has a lab as well, and her lab killed it in Shed Dog. Like he actually got hit, got her Shed Dog title uh, today because in three runs because she got best of breed and high in trial, killed it. It was wonderful. Um, I'm excited to see them run again tomorrow. I think they're moving up to level two, so that'll be cool. But yeah, I think overall it was a really good day. I just went ahead and entered trailing and locating and urban locating for tomorrow. Um, so this trial turned into a lot more money <laughs> than I had initially anticipated. But it's been super fun. It's been really nice to do something with just Maverick and you know, it's, it's always Juno and me, so it's just cool to take the boy out and try something new. And I'm just immensely proud of him trying something new and giving me his all. Oh, speaking of giving me his all, they do like fun awards and fun things um, depending on the club. And they did a judge's choice fun award and she gave it to Maverick. She said that he had great enthusiasm for his first time and he tried really hard and she saw improvement so he got judge's choice which was a bag of treats so you know he's pleased uh, with his winnings but yeah that felt really good you know um as somebody with anxiety especially in new trial things things i've never done before it felt really good to get out there and do it with him and he had a good time and i had a good time and the judge thought we had a good time so Definitely excited for tomorrow, and we'll see what happens. He was pretty tired there for a bit, and uh, then he got a second wind. So, some chuck it before it gets dark. I forgot to show you guys yesterday, but I am running Maverick on his K9 Tactical Gear Defender Harness. And then for Urban, I'm running him on a 20-foot Biothane. And then for Shed and Trailing and Locating, I'm running him on a 30-foot, which is the max for NASDA. <laughs> He's got to do me like that. <laughs> you still going, bud? Hey. Oh my god. Maverick, come here. Come here, you're done, bud. You got it. Oh, come here. Does he still need to go find it? No, we got it. Oh, okay. We got it. <laughs> I thought he did, but I was like. No. Oh, sir, the struggle. There's nothing. Ready? Get the rat. Yes. Yes, go boy. Go boy. Good job, bud. Good job. I know. You want the things? I just, you dropped them, so I don't want to do them over here. Get the rat. Get the rat. Oh, good boy.
Yes, good boy! Yes, good boy! Good boy, come here! Come here! Ready? Get the rat. Good boy! Yes, good boy! Good boy! Yeah, good job! Good job! Ready? Get the wrap. Yes, good boy! Good boy! Good boy! So we are done with the trial. I'm about to head home. I would love to sit here and update you guys right now, but I have a four and a half hour drive. So I'm going to hit the road. I likely will update tomorrow because by the time I get home, it's going to be really late. But yeah, very proud of Maverick. He did a very good job this weekend. This is going to be a wrap up of our NASDA trial weekend. I'm going to do my best to keep it brief because this video is already pretty long. <laughs> so I don't want to babble on too much about this, but I will also say that I'm still very new to NASDA. So I'm still learning uh, their point structure and things like that and how they do things. Um, but I figured I'd go through all of the ribbons that Maverick came home with. So I've got my phone here where I tried to keep track of how it works so I can try to explain it the best. <laughs> so he came home with, let's see, one, two, He came home with 10 qualifying runs. So these are all of his Q ribbons. And a qualifying run can be anywhere between 20 to 25 points. 25 points is a perfect qualifying run. 20 points is the minimum. You can get deductions for different things like throughout the run, kind of like any sport. But he did well. All of his qualifying runs were the full 25 points. Um, so those points go towards getting the titles, which for level one, you need a hundred points to title in any of the sports or any of the classes, excuse me, for level one. So then he also came home with two best of breed. So best of breed gives you some additional points. Um, five, I think it's five additional points. And you only get best of breed if there's another breed entered in that exact same class that's the same as your dog. So for Maverick, obviously, that's labs. Um, and so if there are, if he was the only lab in some of his classes, there was no best of breed available, for example. But the best of breeds provide five additional points. And then he came home with some placements as well. So I do not recall the exact point structure for placements. Everything is in their rule book, so I'll have the rule book linked below so you guys can review it. But second, third, well, first, second, third, and fourth provide some points. Um, obviously, less points as you start going down. And he had three first places, a second and three third places and a fourth. So those all provided additional points towards his runs as well. And so he actually also came home with four first places or what they call high in class when you get a first place. And high in class provides, I think 10 additional points if I'm not mistaken. So on all those runs, he got 10 more points on top of his 25 points towards his title. And then he also came home with, now this does not provide points. I think it's more of a, like a fun thing that the trials do, but I thought it was really cool. In his trailing and locating on day two, he got all three runs were high in class, first place. So that means that he got the high combined for trailing and locating level one, which they provided these little like medals. And it's just so cool, like so cute. But yeah, that means that he had the best time for all of, um, he competed in all three runs, qualified, and had the best 
time across the board. And then it also means that he did come home with his trailing and locating level one title. And so here is his ribbon for that. So it says new level one title, and then it's got the tab for the TL1, which is his trailing and locating one. So that is super cool. And then I can tell you what his points are, and you can kind of see how um, if you get placements or best of breeds and things like that, how it can really boost your points. So he only qualified in two of his shed dog runs, but he came home with 75 points because one of those was a high in class and a best of breed. And then for urban locating, he qualified in three of them and he came home with 86 points. And then trailing and locating, he came home with 185 points. So obviously well above the 100 points needed for the level one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it was a really, really fun weekend. And I promptly signed up for another NASTA trial in December so that we can hopefully finish up his shed dog and his urban locating before the end of the year. Um, like I said, I will have the NASDA website as well as their rule book linked below. Um, it's a little bit confusing, so like I said, still new to it, so I don't want to try to like explain it too much because I'm probably going to explain it wrong. <laughs> um, but it was really, really fun. So I urge you guys, if you have any NASDA clubs local to you or even not that local to you, I drove four hours, it is a blast and the sport is super, super welcoming to beginners and new people. Um, it just was a really, really good time. So like I said, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.